Hey everyone, it's Lachlan here with an unboxing of the Taxstar Pro 80 and I want to give a big thank you to everyone who pledged on the Patreon uh, to make this unboxing happen. The Taxstar Pro 80 is a kind of Bayer Dynamic clone headphone made by a company named Taxstar. I assume that they are a former kind of OEM company that is now trying their hand at making their own uh, headphones. I ordered this from eBay for $69 from an Australian seller and I'm really curious to see what you actually get for your 69 bucks. So uh, without much further ado, let's open the box. Today's unboxing is brought to you by 27 Patreon backers. Thanks! So I've got here my trusty uh, crowdfunded uh, hobby knife, but I actually don't think we will be using this uh, knife in the beginning for this uh, particular video because uh, this headphone actually comes in its own carrying case, and that is the uh, that is the the actual case that's being used to transport the headphone, which I think is really a nice touch because you could probably pay twenty dollars alone just for the box. So um, certainly, there's value for money at the very beginning. Um, so there we have the actual box itself. It's just like a little band case. Um, it's funny that the uh, actual logos are actually, you know, these stickers are put right next to the logos here. I think there could probably be a bit of place to put those barcodes. So, yeah, it is really actually really cool that you get this carrying case. Again, for 69 bucks. Um, that's pretty impressive. Anyway, let's open it up. And then we have uh, this mysterious piece of foam. This up. And then we have this uh, brochure, actually. Um, hmm, this is actually quite nice, actually. This inspires uh, some confidence uh, to have this kind of glossy uh, sheet about the headphone. We have a frequency response curve graph. Uh, honestly, that, uh, that graph from 20 hertz to 1 to 10 kilohertz, that is an interesting frequency response. Uh, I don't know how accurate that diagram is, but to have a basic peak from 5 kilohertz onwards to 20 kilohertz. Hopefully this won't be particularly too sibilant. Um, it says high quality PET diaphragm and PET is just a type of plastic as I understand it. Um, so nothing special as far as the technology behind this headphone goes. Um, but it's an interesting looking manual. I'll have a look through it later on. But um, you know, it does seem like some thought has gone behind making this headphone look like a uh, nice uh, professional kind of product. We have this 3D diagram of the company. It makes it look a bit like an amusement park. I've been to uh, factories like this in China. They do not look like this uh, in real life. But anyway, uh, it is from uh, Taxstar Electronic Co. in Guangdong, or uh, that is basically the uh, elect electronics manufacturing um, uh, base in China. We also get a carrying bag, so not only do we get a big case, we also get a bag, which is really nice. Um, this bag has a, you can't see this on the camera, but this bag has a really weird texture to it because it's furry, but it feels like it's, um, uh, it's just strange to touch, actually. I'm going to stop doing that. Um, okay, so take the foam away, and here we have the headphones. These are the Taxstar Pro 80s, and you can see how um, people have described them as they are dynamic clones because they have the same basic kind of headband yoke shape, though they do have elongated cups, which are a fair bit smaller actually than the um, Bayer dynamic cups. I'll just take this box away because there's nothing more left inside the box as far as I can tell. Um, so yeah, we have a headphone which is made of uh, a mixture of metals and plastics as far as I can tell. Uh, I think these parts either are metal or plastic, but I suspect they're actually metal. They actually feel uh, surprisingly high quality. Uh, the same kind of uh, metal metallic headband as on the Bayer Dynamics. Um, we have an adjustment mechanism. It's a little, a little more wobbly than I would like. I think it could could feel a little better. But overall, for 69 bucks, my immediate impression is actually these are built quite remarkably nicely, um, which is also what I've read and heard about these headphones and why they seem to have been quite popular. I had a number of people actually, or well, it could have been one person requesting it numerous times, I can't really tell at this point, but I had uh, multiple mentions of this headphone on my channel 
and when I asked uh, my Patreon backers what headphone they would like to see, and I gave the choice between the V-Sonic uh, VSDS-1 and the uh, Taxstar Pro 80 and a bunch of other options, uh, I think Taxstar Pro 80 came out on top in terms of popularity. Anyway, I have to uh, undo the tape around this cable. Uh, I'll worry about this cable later. You can you can just uh, assume that, that that tape eventually comes off. And then I'll just cut this off here. I should really use scissors for this at this point because this is dangerous, but um, just do not follow my lead, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so yeah, on, on the actual cable itself, again, it's actually a, seems like a decent quality enough cable. Um, it has a little memory from the box, as we can see. Um, a bit of kink, so we'll see whether that kind of straightens out. We have a 6.5 millimeter adapter and then a uh, 3.5 millimeter uh, screw terminal. So again, it's all gold plated by the looks of it. Everything looks pretty high quality. Um, so yeah, no, I will be very curious to, to give these a listen. Uh, any first impressions I have with this headphone, I will leave in the uh, description of this video. So check that out. I will be um, trying these out. They are closed headphones, as you can see. Um, the e pads are quite small in size, I would say, compared to Bay Dynamic or other full size headphones. So you could almost conceivably use these as portable headphones if you were so inclined, um, but they do have quite a substantial cable. Anyway, yeah, I'll leave any first impressions in the description. Thanks again to uh, everyone who helped make this uh, uh, review, no, I'm sorry, this unboxing possible. And uh, happy listening.